Uh, I'm sorry that um I haven't put videos up for so long. Right now, I'm not using my computer. That's the only reason why I'm putting up a video. But I just want to let y'all know I will be putting up a video soon. Uh, Mad Caracuri or Angry Caracuri, if you get this uh, message through this video, please PM me your address so you so I can send you the um, the terabyte. After this video, you're probably gonna want to use it. <laughs> um, so basically, um, uh, I will start off with this deck. Uh, I wanted to show it to y'all uh, personally, and I will um, once I get uh, three cards. I need a wind up rat, which is this card. I need a I need two X Y Z reborns, and my deck is complete. I have everything in this deck you see here, but those three cards. So. Without further ado, let me get to this deck profile. Um, one of the main cards in here, Wind Up Hunter. Uh, he's the one that drops your opponent's hands. Uh, you don't have to worry about mostly any deck, technically, because Dark World would have been a problem if he would have said this card, but he says send one random card by tributing a face-up Wind Up, except for himself. So this sets up so many combos in which you drop your opponent's hand and then hit him for some life um so three hunters is required three rats is the is one of the other main cards i want to say if not the most main card you normal you normal summon it then switch it to defense so that if you if he does stay on the field you don't get hit for life points then he special summons hunter and then you exceed for zen for this guy zen mighty I'll get to him later on, but y'all should already know what all the what all their effects are. I'll just tell y'all so that y'all y'all understand why he's, why they're in the deck. Um, and if you see the deck profile here, you don't have to stay through the long explanation. I just want to give y'all a detailed explanation of why I use each card and I say tech choices because I haven't seen too many decks online. I haven't looked up too many decks. I just threw it out there. And hopefully my build is unique to any other builds y'all see. Um, I run three TG Werewolves. Um, this is one of the other main um, consistencies in the deck. Once I summon Rat, switch him to defense, special Wind Up Hunter. If I got a Werewolf in my hand, bam, I drop a Werewolf. And now I have three level threes I can work with. Um, and I don't run any other TGs. I might throw in a TG Striker. Because I, I want to try to um, synchro with the deck. But, and um, the main other reason is because he's a dark. And that goes into, you know, my dark arm plays. Um, so, it just combos off so well. Uh, some people could run a striker if they want. So that they get a search off if Wolf just stays on the field. But, that's up to you. Now, Sangan. Sangan worked... Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. That side deck, that's not a real side deck. That's just the cards I have. I had in here. Makes the deck a hell of a more expensive. So, I took them out and made this as budgety as I can. And still be competitive. Um, Sangan searches out Werewolf. Searches out Rat. Searches out Dragonfly. It searches out most of the deck. At least 75% of the monsters in the deck. Um, and it's really good. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Dragonfly, this is the Insector engine. The top was the wind-up engine, Se Insector engine is next. Um, now, Insectors um, will be good. Uh, Dragonfly is one of the main cards. Uh, you equip an Insector from the Graver or Hand onto him, and then what happens is if, if that um, Equipped card goes to the grave somehow while equipped to dragonfly you can special another insector now This starts your plays it, it gets your plays going to get Zen mighty out um, So that's the combos with that um, uh, Centipede is the is the second card when you know when you normal him equip when you equip Hornet um, You send Hornet destroy one of their cards get centipede and once you get Centipede, you can equip Hornet again, and then um, take Hornet off, pop another card, and then get his effect is he gets a, um, if a equip card that's equipped to him goes to the grave, it, um, you get an Insector to your hand. So it's really good. Um, insector Hornet is one of the, one of the main ones of uh, the Insector family, if you want to say, because he detaches himself. 
um, of course, he get, gives three levels to um, whatever monster, you know, whenever he's equipped with a monster, uh, which all the insectors do that. So they become level six, or you can have him as a three. But he's the main one. I only run two hornets and two centipedes because hornet is not needed. Once he's in the grave, he's not needed anymore. Now, you can side into a third one if you um, need to side into it, or you can main all three of them and main all three centipedes, but then you'll have to take out one of the cards, I tech. So, um, that's up to you. Um, I play one hopper because uh, sometimes you just don't want to go into that centipede. You just go into a hopper. If I want, I can even crash into a tangle if I really wanted to. I can always have hopper, detach hornet, hit the first tangle, crash into the second tangle. Might have other things on the field, but I can always crash at least. On top of if he is equipped to want a hornet, centipede, or dragonfly, you can attack your opponent directly that's his effect so you could detach him to attack your opponent directly with whatever monster was equipped to him i run two veilers because monster effects are always relevant in the game you always want to stop any effect like a strata search maybe um you want to stop a trish from happening there's a lot of the, the kaias you know there's a lot of things that you want to stop from happening they have to deal with effect and if i have a zen mighty on the field I want them to attack him. I don't want them to do any type of effect to put him back in my hand and remove him. So, Fact Veil is really good. On top of, I run three lights so that I can get Envoy out. Because if my whole combo doesn't go as planned, then I have other boss monsters I could bring out. On top of, that adds more consistency to uh, the beaters I can do. On top of, you know, once you do your Insector plays, you might run out of steam, like some people say. Once you do the wind-up plays, you run out of steam, unless you get Pot of Avarice. Before you do the whole combo, you can't, you know, you run out of steam. So you need other other things to fall back on, and that's why Envoy is in there. Max C, I have one Max C personally, that's why I have it in there. If y'all want, y'all could take out the Max C, add another Centipede, a, another Hornet. Um, y'all can even add uh, a Gigamantis if y'all want. Um, Insector Gigamantis is his name, I believe. I run two um, two tracks. Um, he's a dark on top of if I do start out with with if I don't start out with the combo if I don't want to go first because I'm I'm afraid of what my opponent is gonna do to whatever card I, I put out. I wait, sit it off, bam, drop Trigodia, have him at three thousand attack. And let them deal with Trigodia first, and then I go off with my combo. Or I can always exceed, I can always reveal a, a monster in the grave, turn them to that level, and start exceeding off of that. I run Gallus. Gallus is, I believe, I want to say he's my tech choice right here because you need, um, you need more more ways to get your level three exceeds out. And if Gallus, as you can see, I have 31 monsters. Seven trap, um, seven spells and two traps. So, um, nine cards out of the forty can kill Gallus, basically. You know, kill his effect. You know, on top of if you do end up mailing Trigodia, you hit him for two thousand. You mail anybody else, uh, most of the other cards, you hit him for at least six. But, um, if he ends up um sending to the grave that light I need, that'll be good. If he ends up sending Hornet, that'll be good. If he ends up sending Hunter, he, that'll be good. So he, he never fails unless he sends one of the spell traps and then his effect doesn't go off. But that happens. Um, Gale. Gale's in here um, to get over Stardust, to get over, um, to help you get over Envoy, to, you know, um, to sink into Trishula, to sink into Brionic, um, to sink into Black Rose, you know, with all the different levels I have in here. Um, so it's a good card just, just to summon half their attack and just try to attack and poke over it. Marshmallow is my other tech. He burns for a thousand, first of all. He stays on the field as long as they're only attacking. You know, so he's a wall for a little bit. I would run Sangan, but I mean not Sangan, Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper does let me summon and then poke and then drop a card from their hand. But I'm already dropping cards with with, with uh with the exceeds. So he's just sitting there, and he doesn't have to get that effect that if you target him, he just dies. You have to you have to kill him in a specific way in order for him to go, and that's by anything but battle. 
and then he burns your opponent for a thousand. Goris is another beat stick. If I don't have any, I don't, as you can see, I don't set anything. So Goris is one of those cards, boss monsters I drop, changes the game. Um, Dark Arm, again, another boss monster. I can control the grave with Envoy. I can control the grave with um, Rat. I can control the grave with uh, any insectors. You know, I can grab the dark that, that's extra in there and then go off like that. MST, back row destruction, pot of avarice, no explanation. Heavy storm, um, allure. Allure is so live in here, it's not even funny. You can go into Levier whenever you please. I mean, not, yeah, Levier, whenever you please, and then just grab back the monster you, you um, banished. Monster reborn, not needed to, to, to talk about. Foolish, again, I told you, I need Hornet in the grave and Wind Up Hunter in the grave. Without those two in the grave, your combos can't fully go off. XYZ Reborn is just so I could continue um, bringing out Zen Mighty and dropping cards. or bring out any, any of my exceeds and just keep dropping them. Um, and yeah, it's a good card. Now, this is the main, this is the main guy that makes this deck fun for me. Um... He basically special uh, you detach one one monster one wind um yeah you just you detach one material on them and then special summon a winder from your deck so that that's how you um summon him then special summon a rat switch him to defense get hunter and then trip you off your zen mighty and like I said I will be get I have the deck I just need three cards if y'all have them please please PM me and tell me I'll buy them off of y'all or trade. Um, but I need those cards. Um, and then I'll show y'all real life how the combo looks if y'all haven't seen it yet. Um, I have two Zen, ma two, two Zen ma mains. Uh, it does... Oh, yeah. Another thing. His effect... Um, his other effect is if they um, kill a monster by by, um, by uh, battle, you can detach a XYZ material. Uh, uh, if, they, if they kill a wind-up monster by battle... And then put it back into your hand. Basically, you detach a XYZ material on them, and then, and then put them back into put the the wind up back into your hand. Um, Zen mains. Everybody know what Zen mains does. He's just another wind up, and he is one of those walls I could I could I could hit first turn. Just leave it on the field and see what my opponent tries to do. Levier. I mean, there's no explanation. Uh, I remove with Envoy and Allure. Those are the only two ways I remove. But it does happen. Well, actually, I remove with Dark Arm as well. So I have many. I could run. I would run two Leviers and take out the Acid Golem. Number twenty, number thirty, Acid Golem. We don't have him yet, but once we get him, he's the first. He's the beat stick that they can make. They can make a three thousand beater on the field, and your opponent has to deal with him or not. They could just leave him and let him try to burn you. Y'all, y'all probably know the effect. Y'all can read it off of there. You um e during standbys either you take two thousand um damage or you detach a material and while he's on the field you can't special summon um and if it has if it doesn't have any materials on it you can't attack with it um I run a terabyte because once again if I get um if I get uh one Gallus one Hunter uh one Rat one werewolf i can like go off i could just special summon three and if they have a level four that might benefit me and i have a hopper in my hand i summon and then exceed um or not even exceed since i don't run utopia but i might just run a uh, random utopia because i can take their monsters with terabyte but i might not run utopia that'll be dumb but terabyte is another wall that could sit there and take your opponent's level fours like tangles or something you know something of the sort and if i draw into my 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 gale or my two veilers i can always synchro off with them um i run one i run two giga brilliance he's good to make uh, envoy a 33 big b stick make everybody gain 300 plus he's a light for my envoy um play if i haven't done him you know beforehand and levy um you know Le leviathan uh, there's no explanation needed he's just a 25 beater that can come out um, he's 2,000 obviously, but you know, you detach one and he's a 25 beater. Uh, Synchros, I run Cataster, um, Brionic, uh, Black Rose, Stardust. Um, I have no Trishan here, but there should be a Trishula. Uh, so I would probably 
just end up taking out I'll take out yeah I don't even know why I have this here yeah that let me see Trish yeah Trish there you go there should be a Trish in there so <laughs> yeah so basically that's my deck guys um, I'll I'll make another video and show y'all the deck profile. I mean, show y'all a, a show y'all a duel, and hopefully y'all enjoy it. Thumbs up if y'all like, rate, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and thank you for my for the recent subscribers. Peace.